it's Wednesday no it's Thursday yeah I was so busy yesterday I didn't get to do this but I'm gonna fulfill my commitment to do it once a week even if one person fix it okay so today I really and truly want to speak from Malachi 3 verses 16 it says sign me up that's what I called it I'm from Trinidad Tobago and it reminds me of a literal soca song I come for this walk sign me up I come for this walk sign me up I love that song by the way it's from Kess it's a soca song from Trinidad and Tobago but we're gonna put that that's in like an carnal realm we're gonna transfer the words of that song <laughs> to a spiritual realm okay now we would have grown up hearing about heaven and hell which is very real by the way i didn't make it up it's in the good book take your time and read it through and you know every single day that i see something that seems so unusual you know it just reminds me that the time is coming closer and closer this bump is ridiculous oh this is mask okay the mask does this to you anyway we focus in here oh, zoom back in right um what i have to say though is that we just as we are concerned that we have enough money for retirement you know the our emotional well-being of ourselves of our children of our families or financial status we need to be very concerned about our status after we leave this earthly realm and there's an actual book it's not just a story it's just not something to fare us into um enjoying or getting to know christ it's a literal truth once you're a believer and our job as believers is not to look like we are believers or look like we are christians or to fulfill status quo what we're really here to do is to fulfill the purpose that god has placed in each of us individually the various talents and gifts that he's given us and use it for the furtherance of not your will his will not your life alone but his kingdom that's really it you know and as easy as i make it sound it's very challenging because we're humans and we were made of this flesh and we have our goals and we grew up in a society that tells us whatever you want to be you could be but the reality is if you live your life for christ you know you're going to take up that cross and you're going to do whatever is that thing he wants you to do even if it's a burden to do with his help that's what you're called to do at the end of it we want to hear well done good and faithful servant there are many of us who are going to be dressed like christians talk like christians preach like christians own churches like christians and still don't make the cut make sure you're not one of them that we're going to hear and i'm talking to myself too make sure i won't hear make sure you won't hear depart me not i knew you not we don't want to hear that so we have to ensure that every single day we wake up not only should we give god thanks for the grace and the mercy to see a new day but we should ask god to inspect or evaluate our heart to make sure that we are living in a way that is pleasing unto him not based on how it looks to other people or what you think it is from a religious standpoint really and truly ask for god am i living how you want me to live am i operating how you want me to operate and if not show me what i need to do so in malachi 3 verses 16 listen up it says then those who feared the lord spoke to one another okay and the lord listened and heard them so a book of remembrance was written before him for those who fear the lord and who meditate on his name listen i really and truly hope that we understand that there's a list there's a book and there's a god that is keeping every record and he really and truly wants us to fear him to meditate upon who he is on his word so that we could make the final cut are we sure that our names are on the list you know we could ask god god is my name on that list now if you come today because god knows the beginning and the end anyway but i'm asking you really ask the holy spirit to reveal to you those areas that will take us away from that list 
okay now we know it's not our works we are saved we know it's a gift of salvation we know all of that however we have to make sure that we are within the covering or we are within the covenant of christ and not just look like it there are some people that believe people with tattoos not going to make it to heaven. People who wear weaves not going to make it to heaven. People who wear eyelashes not going to make it to heaven. People who wear lipsticks all of a sudden they think they're just a Jezebel. So they're not going to... That's not true. What is your personal relationship with Christ like? Are you living according to his leaders? Because if you live according to what God is leading you to do, you naturally will not feel predisposed once you are fully delivered. To do certain acts such as fornication. We've all been there. I'm married now. Just saying. Okay. And the list goes on and on. Gossiping. Yeah. That thing that we all do. And lechery. All of those things we have to take into consideration. So. I want us to ask ourselves. Just as Kes sang. I come for this work. Sign me up. Ask yourself that in the spiritual realm. Have you done the work God has purposed in your heart to do? Is your name on that list? Would your name be on that list? And if you're not sure, you need to ask yourself why. And you need to ask the Holy Spirit to reveal to you what you need to do to make sure that your name is in the book of remembrance. When we look at Nehemiah 7, in Nehemiah, we saw that the king's cup bearer Nehemiah, that prophet, he felt a need. There was a calling. There was a purpose in his life to rebuild the walls of the temple. It was broken down, and it, his holy, the Holy Spirit said, "You know what? You're gonna do the work." He took the necessary channels. He prayed and inquired to God, and God said, "Go ahead." And he went ahead. And if you read the book of Nehemiah, you can see it wasn't always easy. They had to watch God 24-7. There was a lot of resistance. Sambalant, etc. All of them, they were consistently trying to break down the work that God ordained him to do. But he never dropped God. And he always inquired of the Lord. And after he put in all of that work, and after he put in all of that sacrifices... I want you to see in Nehemiah 7, a number of completion, we see in verse 2 that Nehemiah said, after he did all of that, eh? at the, basically at the ending stage, he said, I gave charge of Jerusalem to my brother, Hanai, Hanai, Hanani, I probably pronounced it wrong, and Haniah, the leader of the citadel, for he was a faithful man and feared God more than many. So we see that even though he placed a lot of, uh, what's the word, work, a lot of sacrifices, he fulfilled his purpose in God. And when the job was nearing its ending, he let go of the reins and he elevated his brother into a position of leadership. So he was elevated because he was faithful. That's what the Bible said. He was a faithful man and he feared God more than many. Why I really brought that into what I was talking about, sign me up. We see that your name can make lists. Another angle to it. You can be elevated into new realms, into new dimensions. When you are faithful and when you fear God. In an earthly realm. And we see in a spiritual realm hallelujah where god could put your name in the book of remembrance because you fear the lord and you meditate on him and his word day and night it's in the bible so i promise to only be 10 minutes today and i hope that these 10 minutes were worth your time read the good book read your bible read the word it's a living word it comes to life and the holy spirit illuminates those aspects that i may have missed but is applicable to your life remember you want your name to be signed up but you have to give god full control so that his will will be done in your life even when it is inconvenient remember to be faithful 
in a world that laughs at anyone who wants to be loyal and consistent to God, to Christ. And remember to meditate upon God, his statutes, his commandments, and who he is by having a personal, intimate relationship with him. And I promise you, you would be signed up, not only spiritually, but in a physical realm. Continue to be faithful. Remember, I love you, but Christ loves you more. And these are not my words, but it's his words. Have a great week. See you next week.